sí que me gustaría y me encantaría jugar en el fútbol argentino y en Newell, pero la idea que se dé eh, depende de muchas cosas. To this day, Messi has not played a single match in Argentina, but his numbers at Newell's Old Boys from his youth years are unbelievable. Little Leo was six years old when he signed his first official football contract, binding him to a club. It was the 30th of March, 1994, just a few months away from the USA World Cup, which would ironically put an end to Diego Maradona's Argentina career. Young Leo was already showing great promise at his hometown club, Grandolfi, but his father knew he was made for a bigger stage. So they went over to Newell's Old Boys, one of the biggest teams in Rosario in Argentina, the home of Marcelo Bielsa and Gabriel Batistuta, and the club in the heart of the Messi family. In his first match with the Lepers, they won 6-0. Messi scored a poker, four goals. From then on, Rosario's FA kept track of every game played by the little kid, giving us incredible figures. Messi would score 234 goals in just 176 matches. Bear in mind, Messi, who was small back then, even for his age, was playing on dirt pitches with broken glass and stones against kids that would be a head taller than him. In 1994, he scored 40 goals in 29 matches, a goal average of 1.37. His Newell side would win 23 matches, draw three, and lose another three. The division was comprised of other teams from the region, like their city rivals, Rosario Central, but also other sides from the same club. Newell's team had up to four teams in the league, with Messi only playing for the A side. In his second year at Newell's, 1995, Messi scored 36 goals in 30 matches. His goal average was 1.2. Goals that served Newell's to win 27 matches and draw the remaining three. In 1996, Messi scored 36 goals again, but this time in just 27 matches. His goal average was 1.33. Newell's won 23 and tied on four occasions. In 1997, Leo upped his goal tally to an impressive 40 goals in 36 matches. Though his goal average was 1.11, Messi couldn't score a goal in 14 matches, meaning his actual goal average was 1.81. Newell's won 32 matches from the 36, drawing three times and losing just once. In 1998, Messi played just 25 matches, scoring 27 goals. His goal average was a respectable 1.08. Newell's won 24 of those matches, losing twice and drawing once. According to the records, he wasn't in the squad for a lot of matches. Maybe he was playing hooky to stay at home and watch the 1998 World Cup. 1999 was his final year at Newell's Old Boys and Messi went out with a bang. Scoring 55 goals in 29 matches, Messi was playing at Barcelona levels. His goal average was an impressive 1.89. Newell's A side would finish that season as invincibles, winning 26 matches and drawing three times. During his time at Newell's, he had one inseparable partner on the pitch, Lucas Scaglia. Scaglia would play as a defensive midfielder, getting the ball back and giving it to Messi for him to destroy rival defenses. Leo knew he could go forward while Scaglia had his back. The Argentine midfielder would go on to make his debut at Newell's Old Boys and then leave Rosario for Barcelona to play at lower league Tarasa. He's had quite a different career to Messi's, having played in Greece, Bolivia, Colombia, and now in the United States. But there is one thing that unites Messi and Scaglia. Antonella Rocuzzo. Scaglia is Antonella's cousin, which is how the two met. Messi's dream was to make it as a professional footballer and take his first steps at Newell's. My dream was to play at the Colossus. Life took me on a different path, but I could become a pro footballer. Then all my expectations were surpassed. The dream of playing for his beloved Newell's never came true. As we all know, a growth deficit affected Messi and needed a costly treatment, one that an Argentinian salary couldn't afford. That's why the Messi's left Rosario. This is the story we know. What we can't be sure of is if Leo will ever play for Newell's. No sé cuándo va a ser ni ni si se dará o no, eh, pienso en el día a día, creo que si, si se da va a ser de acá dentro de, de varios años y no sé lo que va a pasar de acá eh, a mañana, así que no puedo dar una fecha o decir o prometer que, que voy a volver porque no, 
no sería sincero. Sí que me gustaría y me encantaría jugar en el fútbol argentino y en Newell, pero la idea que se dé eh, depende de muchas cosas. There are many factors to this. Though Messi is an Argentinian through and through, he's lived the majority of his life in Barcelona, 21 years out of 33. He's beloved in both cities, but his kids were born in Spain and are Catalan. Of course, the sentiment for his hometown is evident, as Messi spends every holiday there and even had his wedding in Rosario. But the cultural and societal differences between Argentina and Spain are too much, even for a regular person. Argentina's economy has made it a difficult country to live in. With the threat of violent crime in the streets, even the kidnapping of rich people and footballers' relatives, this is surely in the back of Messi's mind. Besides, there are hard feelings between the Messi's and Newell's old boys as well. The club never intended to pay for young Leo's treatment when the issue was brought up with them. This is also why they first left for Buenos Aires, seeking a contract at the biggest team in the capital, River Plate. After a successful trial, Messi was ready to sign for River, who offered to pay for his hormone growth treatment. So, what happened? I went to River and scored four goals. They told me to ask for my right to Newell's so we could get it done. Newell's told me to f off. It would be logical then for Messi to hold a grudge against the team, but he's also always expressed his feelings for the side that his family supports. When Diego Maradona passed away, Messi paid an incredible homage to him. Lifting his Barcelona shirt to reveal the Newell shirt Maradona played with briefly in the 90s. Months before, when Messi revealed his intention to leave Barcelona, Newell's fans gathered in the street and showed him their support and their desire to one day see him wearing the black and red jersey. Pues nosotros siempre vinculamos que ellos iban a vivir su familia y Leo siempre en Barcelona. Bueno, ahora se fue. Entonces, como ahora se fue, nosotros nos pusimos la cabecita ahí y dijimos, bueno, acá estamos. Eh, sabemos que que que, que quizás no no sea el momento en que el que pueda llegar sea este, pero lo que sí queremos demostrar como club eh, es que nada, que, que Leo tiene las puertas abiertas para volver acá cuando quiera. Nosotros lo que te, le tenemos para ofrecer como club a Messi es reencontrarse eh, con esa forma de, de entender la vida, digamos, de entender eh, el universo y, y bueno y, y en esta cancha y que, y que él se reencuentre con lo más amateur de, de, su, de su formación y que se reencuentre con sus amigos y con su familia y que lo haga en su ciudad, fundamentalmente por lo afectivo, porque lo conocen, porque lo hemos cono, conocido, pero también por las manifestaciones públicas, eso es lo que nos genera más ilusión. Él ha hecho manifestaciones públicas en torno a que le gustaría en algún momento jugar en Newell. Y bueno, ojalá pase. Only time will tell if Messi gets to fulfill his childhood dream and lives up to the impressive numbers he amassed there when he was a kid. 